Hi everyone, here's our math problem for today. Let's say we are asked to solve for the value of x given this equation, x raised to x cubed is equal to 256. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this algebra problem. Now let's solve this problem together. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to think of a strategy and the strategy that we are going to use here is we are going to make both the base and the exponent equal. In here, the base is x and the exponent is x cubed. We would like to make both the base and the exponent equal. So let's recall some properties of exponents. Let's recall the power of power rule. When we have the quantity x raised to a raised to another exponent b, that is equal to the base x, and then we multiplied the exponent a and the exponent b to get a b. But since multiplication is commutative, we can also interchange this a and b, and still, this property works. So how can we implement the strategy? Remember, we want to make the base and the exponent equal. Since we already have here an exponent 3, then let's raise the left and the right side of this equation to exponent 3. And this is the result. Then applying this log exponent, we can now multiply the exponent x cubed and this exponent 3 to arrive at this result. Notice now that x cubed times 3 is equal to 3x cubed, and then we just copy 256 cubed. Now, applying the converse of this log exponent, if we have x raised to a times b, that is equal to the quantity x raised to a all raised to b. So here, you can think of 3 as our exponent a here, and you can think of x cubed as our b here. And that can be written in the form, the quantity x raised to a, that is now our x raised to the third, all raised to b, and our b here is this x cubed. The right side is just copied. So notice now that at the left side, we have x cubed as the base and x cubed as the exponent. And that is precisely what we mean by this statement here. Make both the base and the exponent equal. Now, we let a be equal to x cubed. And so if x cubed is equal to a, then we can now write this left side of the equation as a raised to a equals the right side 256 cubed. Then let's look at the prime factorization of 256. Its prime factorization is 2 raised to 8. So we can now replace this 256 by 2 raised to 8. Then remember again that by this log exponent, because multiplication is commutative, you can interchange a and b. That means you can also interchange this exponent 8 and 3 to have this form. Notice that 8 and 3 are interchanged. Why did we do that? Notice now that 2 raised to the third is equal to 8, and the exponent outside here is 8. In other words, we now have the base 2 to the third equal to the exponent 8, because 2 to the third is equal to 8. And so, we now say that a raised to a is equal to 8 raised to 8, which means that the value of a is equal to 8. But remember that we let a be equal to x cubed. So if a equals 8, then 8 is equal to x cubed. And from here, if we take the cube root of both sides, we now have x equals 2. And that is now the value of x given this equation, x raised to x cubed equals 256. So let's check if this is correct. Substituting now x equals 2 to the original equation, we have 2 raised to 2 cubed equals 256. When we evaluate this tower of exponents, we evaluate first the top 2 to the third, which is equal to 8, and then we copy the base, and then we evaluate 2 to the 8, and that is indeed equal to 256. So x equals 2 is our final answer. And this problem is now solved. Thank you very much and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.